O'Connor now. He finds Lake. GB trying to come across the line again. A turnover and one ends up in the feet of Josh Tetlow. He got checked by Vilmoschka. Ooh, looked like he came off worse. Now here's Waller. Waller attacking the line with some speed. Josh Waller's got in on the net and he scored. A wonderful individual effort from Josh Waller. Breaks open the Hungarian defence, able to deposit the puck. Bast, Vences, Balish, just look at this again. He does really well to get round the poke checking defenceman. He stuffs that into the net for GB's first of the night. And the loose puck picked up by Cade Nielsen on the forecheck. He's going to give that up though to Janusz Hari. Hari across the line trying to get some space. Lovely drop off. Big chance they score. A lightning quick start to the third period by Team Hungary. Istvan Schofron picking up the drop pass and firing it past Ben Bounds to tie this game up at one stoop. Yeah, just gets a, a lovely drop pass from Hari on the backhand there. Finds the open man in all the space that he needs. And that puck ends up in the back of the net. Nice quick release from Schofron to make it one apiece. Yeah, and that's a, you know, not just great for the Hungarians in terms of the score sheet, but, you know, that rapid uh, start to the third period sets them up well for having all the momentum and you know, quickly gets set up pass to the point Halbert Kirk Halbert oh I thought Kirk was going for the one time he shoots upstairs it gets a piece of the net miner on the way through I was dowed again Halbert Kirk one timer off the block at Dowd again to the goal line. Oh, quick passing play. It finds Kirk. Kirk tries to poke one far side. Puck comes back out in front. They score. Cade Nielsen with a tip in front. And GB ramped up the pressure through that power play. It is a power play a goal. And Cade Nielsen in front redirects a shot. And Great Britain are back in front, too. Yeah, nice stretching of the play from GB from side to side. Going cross ice. Liam Kirk looks on one side. Puck comes out to Robert Dowd. He fires it straight back in. Gets a big tip from Kate Nielsen in front. Great piece of hand-eye coordination from the young player. We see again there just a nice redirection in front of net on the power play. Exactly what you need. Two goals to one in favour of Great Britain. Yeah, it's the, the, it was the uh, the first uh, the first game against Team Latvia where the empty net was a little bit strange. Where it yeah yeah on the uh, pulled the extra man on the uh, uh, on four and three. But speaking of which, Benzas Balish is going to the bench and GB have turned that puck over in the neutral zone. Ben Lake for the empty net. He scores. And GB will have a two goal lead with two minutes left on the clock and a, a lovely bit of stick work in the neutral zone from the GB forward here. Takes it off the boards. That was Curran. He feeds it ahead of Lake. Empty net awaits. And Great Britain well and truly in command now. Yeah, two goal game with just over two minutes remaining. Uh, they've done well here to establish themselves in a great position and it really is just a nice bit of uh, defensive work there on the side. Ben Lake then picks up the spoils and gets the, the goal in the empty netter. Hari to the top of the slot. Stipish. Back for Hari. Looking through the crowd. There's a net from presence from San Arde. Oh, that puck's ended up in the neutral zone. Aaron pass. Oh, it's sticked down by Betridge. And now, oh, he missed the net. He's going to get the loose puck back. He'll try again. It's ended up with San Arde. Well, that would have sealed it. That phrase is on the tip of my tongue, but Oli Betridge could only find the pipe. Yanashari to the net front. Chance they score. It's three to two. Sanadade found the loose puck in his feet and he stuffed it past Ben Bounds. And oh, a, a missed chance to seal the game off at one end. And Hungary get right back in it with a goal. Absolutely, Oli Betridge is going to be ruining his luck now as that power play marker comes in front. They find the spare man. Six on four, there's always going to be two men spare. And you don't want that spare man to be right in front of the net with the puck. We see again here, gets all the way across, drifts in there, and Erde just slips it past Ben Bounds.